It's just a mixture of everything I had left, not taking it away. What is that? What is in that? Let me see that. She's a dirty one. What in the name of fuck is in there, Ricky? It looks like there's a cigarette butt in there. I hope not. There's some beer. There's some wine. There's some rum and coke. Some whiskey and ginger. And a little bit of Moe's apple grape juice. It's not bad. Ricky. It's fucking... It's, oh. And there's beets in it. It's a beet. Well, what the, the beets, beets the by break? Dr. Dre? Yeah, there's, yeah, Dr. Dre best in it. <laughs> Here's to you, Dr. J. Dr. Beats by Dr. J. <laughs> Fuck, they're a lot cheaper. Are you going to do the fucking intro? Yeah, this is the podcast. It's number 150. How are you doing, everyone? 150? It's half, over. half over now. It's 150. This is number 150. Wow. 150 fucking times we've done this? That's too many. Let's stop. Isn't that some kind of an anniversary? Like centennial and a half? I don't know. Is Centenarian, a, I think. Is that a thing? You can celebrate it if you want. I don't give a fuck. I am celebrating it. That's how I'm celebrating. If you got married for 150 years, what do they call it? Impossible. That's what they call it. Frankie, who the fuck gets married? Who's alive for 150 years? Nobody. Aliens. Tall whites, they live to be about 700. I don't believe in the tall whites anymore, man. So, uh... Tall whites are out no, there, believe no. me. Guess what it is in two days. What is it? Canada Day. I think we should start the party tonight. I'm starting it right now. And we should stay partied out until not Canada Day. Okay. Four dare. Let me check my schedule for the week. And then oh, I'm free. And then I say we just flow right into July 4th for our American friends. So it's going to be, how many days is that? What's four plus two? Six? Use your fingers. Six. Right? Six really? day party, boys. You up for it? Or are you going to be a bunch of I'm up for it. I'm up for it. But hey, I started partying this morning before you did. I mean, unless you count eating fucking Tide Pods as party. Well, I but, thought it was going to get me fucked up, and it did not. It actually ruined my goddamn weed buzz on. It didn't ruin it, but it made it less good. Ricky, it's the same as taking a big thing of fucking laundry detergent and just squeezing her into your mouth. Like, would you do that? No, I wouldn't do that. I've never seen anyone on the interweb doing that. You see people doing the interweb doing stuff, you try it. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. So if somebody iPod, was on the internet bad. and they fucking chopped their arm off, would you try that? If I knew I could put it back on with no incidences. Why not? Fuck. Let's just see what it felt like. Bob's, where's your fucking liver located? Near My your liver no, or your liver? Everyone's, you know what I mean. It's near your it's ass. your left side or your right side. It's back there, isn't it? It's on top of your ass because the stuff goes through that and then comes out. <laughs> it's on top of your ass? Where the fuck is it? It's like the fucking... Your liver? I don't know. Who the fuck do I look like? Dr. Sanjay Gupta? Going on there, man. I'm not Sanjay Gupta. Who? Dr. Sanjay <laughs> Gupta, he's always on the TV. Uh, he would know where your liver is. Where's your Dr. Phil? Well, I guess he wouldn't because he's not a doctor. Where is he's just your a... liver. Guess who got born on June the 29th? Little Eva. Who? Little Eva. Uh, she's an American pop singer. Little Eva. Locomotion. Oh, do the locomotion with me. You got to come swing on, come your on. hips now. Come on, jump up. Don't fucking sing like cocky, man. Not on Who was the other broad that sang that song? I don't know. It's probably Little Eva. No, it was fucking... Somebody re-sang it. The Locomotion? It's probably been covered by lots of people. Was it Kylie Minogue or somebody like that? I don't know. Kylie Minogue didn't do the Locomotion, did she? She may not have. Your liver's the size of a fucking football. Did you know that? No, it's not. It Everybody's is so, man. Yours probably Both is. the size of a football. It's located right here. Do you know it can fucking regenerate like a starfish's hand or arm, whatever you call it? You're right, man. You are right. I'm okay. I thought I was. I thought it was back here for some reason. I'm what, you got a pain? A bit of a pain. I've been drinking, like, when I really drink hard, which we're going to be doing for the next six days. Well, it's probably your kidneys shutting down. The kidneys? Where is it in your back? Right there. Right there. Yeah, That's man. a kidney pain. Or it could be a backbone. Where's your fucking kidney located? Let your backbone slide. 
I was worried about my dad drinking when I got the younger. And he's like, don't worry about it, bud. Liver regenerates like starfish's arm or leg. No. Incorrect, Ricky. Worked for him. <laughs> Ray right. grew with another liver, did he? He was fucking perfect shape. Last time I seen him. Ray. Yep. No, he was not in perfect shape, Ricky. He would fucking drink a quart and piss blood. I think that was from his, uh, something else. Well, I'm just saying he wasn't in fucking great shape, pissing blood every time he drank. Boys, if you needed a kidney, I'd fucking give you one of my kidneys. I'm just throwing that out there I don't right think now. I'd want one of your kidneys. No, kidneys they're good. Are fucked. Man. They're good. They're probably the muscle kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> just saying that. I'd give you both. I got, I got, I think it's, I got a kidney problem here. So Let's you're see. saying you give us one of yours just to fucking well, make it, us want to say the same thing you want one of our kidneys, right? No, I'm just saying that because you guys are my best friends and I fucking love you guys. And if you need a kidney, if you, if you need it, reverse psychology my... to scam one of my kidneys. I'm not fucking doing that. Well, guess what? I was going to give you my kidneys, but now my kidneys are off limits. Because you tried to trick me. Who's trying to, I'm not fucking trying to trick you, man. I'm being totally sincere. Give me your kidney then. You got it. Give it to me. Let's go. Well, I gotta go to the fucking hospital. Mm. I can fucking Gary Busey? What? He got born on June 20th. He's pretty banged up still, isn't he? Gary Busey. 1944. Fuck. Fuck. He is fucking he's twisted. Cra- he's isn't crazy, he? isn't he? Isn't well, he got in a crash. That's when he sort of went. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Off the rails. He got born the same year as that video game, 1944. Wicked fucking game. Don't even know what you're talking about, Ricky. It doesn't list, like, all of his good movies. Like what? What's it Buddy list? Holly Story? What about fucking... What was that great movie? Buddy was Holly it? Story was the best movie Gary Busey did, and I think that was before his crime. No, no, he was in a better one than that. Wasn't he in a trucker movie or something? Gary Busey? Yeah. I don't think so. I think he was bad. Trucker movie? Mm-hmm. It was a surfing movie I'm thinking of, man. Oh, Point Break. Yes. He was in Point Break. I believe one of the Red Hot Chili Peppers was in it, too. He was. Point right. Break, yeah. Buddy Holly. Lethal Weapon. Yeah. Under fucking Siege. He was in that. Gary Busey played Jaws in Moonraker. I think. Star is Born. That's an old one. Predator 2. Was he the Predator? No. No. He Fear wasn't. of Loathing Las Vegas. Where the f- what? I, he wasn't in that, was he? Well, it says he was, so he probably was, right? <laughs> That's what they're saying, yeah. I just don't remember. Gary Busey and Fear and Loathing? That's what they're saying, yeah. Oh, was he that Man weird dude sheet? they picked up in the back seat? No, that was, um, that was Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, it was a weird little freak. He's not a weird little freak. What's his name? Toby Maguire. That's who was in the back seat. Gumball Rally. Another big movie. Maybe that's the trucking movie you're thinking of. No, man. Oh, Gumball 3000? That's just fucking wicked. Yeah, I'd like to be. No, uh, you're thinking of. No, Ricky. Slapshot 2. You're thinking of Andre 3000. Hey, ya! Hey, ya! Oh, I know him. Check it like a Polaroid picture. You know when that song came out, Polaroid? It's gonna be a good night. That's not Andre it's fucking the, 3000. They're all. No? Fuck. No, that's the Black Eyed Peas. Same band, isn't it? No. He was one of them? No, he was not. See, this is how the fake news starts, right here. Because you have so many facts wrong. You know when that song, Shake It Like a Polaroid Picture, came out? I like that song. Polaroid came out and said, Would, this is fucked. You do not shake our True. pictures. You're not supposed it, to. Because it makes the ink jiggle. Then you got a jiggle picture. Richard Lewis also got born today. Uh, Richard, Richard Lewis. Lewis? Yeah. He's a funny is he? Funny bastard, Is he yes. really, though? Richard Lewis? Yeah. He's very Name funny. one fucking thing that's going to make me laugh that he said. Well, Ricky, I can't do Richard Lewis's Richard Lewis, material. I Richard Lewis. I think he is funny. I just can't Richard Lewis, he's jokes. been in tons of... I mean, he was super banged up, too. Oh, yeah, he was on that... Uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah. Do you have long hair? Yeah. You're fairly long hair. He's a nice-looking fella. Handsome. If you were attracted to men, would you bang him? I am not. Is he one of not attracted, attracted to Richard Lewis? Well, I know who you are attracted to. This next contestant on Who Got Born Today. Who? Oh. Matthew Good. Yep. You are. I am not attracted to You are to a Matthew fucking huge bit fan. You went on a trip with him. 
like New Year's. I did go with them. Just I didn't go have... with them, but I we were in the same place, the same cabin out in the woods. We Nobody else around. We were not in the fucking cabin out in the woods. We were at actually we were at Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s place. But the Dale wasn't there. Driver. Dale wasn't there. Dale was there. We went to his bar. It's called Whiskey River. In Charlotte, North Carolina, I was there. Matt Matthew Good was playing, and I was there. And right. what happened after the show? Nothing. We just went to his house and had drinks, got in his hot tub. <laughs> got in his hot tub. <laughs> you, Matthew Good, and Dale Earnhardt Jr., the three of you guys. Well, the whole a bunch of ladies. Drunk. Oh, there was ladies there, wasn't there? A whole there? bunch of ladies. Now you mention the ladies. Yeah, the first time. It's, yeah, you should, you should have started with that, maybe. Don't try to paint the picture that me and Dale Jr. and Matt Good were in the hot tub naked together. You were. You said naked, not us. Yeah, we didn't say naked. Well, I'm just saying that's what you're implying, I think. You no, call that's, Matt that's Good. what you said. You call Matthew Good or call Dale Jr. Give, him, say, give him a call. Were you ever in a hot tub naked with bubbles? And he'll say no. Give him a call, man. You know, he, he probably has his, have his number done. He'll say no, we had clothes on you know what? I think string bikinis. I was at the racetrack too, this and I was right down in Dale Junior's pet thing, and I had the earphones on and the suit. I think I might have video of that. I should try to find that. Is there uh, any video of the hot tub action with ladies? No, there's no hot tub action on video. Where are these? Where did these come from? They came out of this hmm. Filipino face. They, mm -hmm. they might make noise, though, so be careful. This fucking popcorn is pretty good, boys. I brought that. Filipino and cheese, man. Oh, well, this is a scary one. Because what? of all those new rules and shit. Canadians who've used pot can be forever barred from entering the United States of America. Oh, are you kidding That's me? What they're saying it's possible. Well, that doesn't spread. Oh! Which means I can probably never go there. Ricky? Yes? Something I think you forgot to mention, which is kind of big news. Mm hmm Marijuana being legalized in Canada. Yeah, I didn't fucking mention it because I'm not happy about it. I mean, it's good in a lot of ways, but bad for people that need to make a living, right? Are you going to tell them? What? About the deal you made? No. I'm not telling them. What are you guys talking about over there? Mm, it'll, you'll know soon enough.